No, I'm not just lounging around here. I'm actually here today with uh, Philippe. We'll introduce him in just a moment. He's the owner of uh, Heliotrope Yachts down here in uh, Thailand. They're a power uh, yacht manufacturer, mostly catamarans. But the kind of the unique, unique thing they're doing is they're incorporating a lot of solar. Like this is his uh, flagship, the Heliotrope, uh, which means I think sun worship um, or follower of the sun. And uh, he has eight kilowatts of solar on this boat. This is Heliotrope. She's 65 feet long with a 25 foot beam. She has four cabins and four heads and she's definitely a beautiful boat. She's a one-off design and the flagship for Heliotrope yachts that are built in Thailand. She's the owner of the company's personal yacht and the test bed for their solar equipment. So no expenses spared in outfitting her. She has a warm wood interior with golden accents and it's definitely a comfortable boat. The galley alone is as big as my first boat. And who wouldn't want to work at that nav station? There are two cabins on each side, each with their own private head and shower. And the master cabin aft on the starboard side. So this is actual real gold flake that they encased in some kind of polymer here. It's pretty neat. Uh, it's really cool. And then over here, sink as well. Pretty neat. Upstairs is the bridge and an additional galley for entertaining. And of course the subject of today's video, the solar array on top. I mean, most people's houses, this is like competitive to how many solar panels on somebody's house. And below decks are 4,000 pounds of batteries. All right, guys, I'm here with Philippe. He's the owner of Helotrope Yachts and the yacht uh, manufacturing company here in, uh, in Thailand. And we're on his boat. It's the Heliotrope 68? 65. 65. 65, yes. It's quite an impressive boat. I kind of took you on a, a tour of it earlier. So uh, so how did you get into boat building and, and what's going on? How did you do that? I'm Swiss. I come from Geneva. Uh, my main business was before hotel business. Okay. Okay. Many people know me in your country too as an hotel owner. Okay. But my family also own the oldest shipyard in Switzerland, back, uh, called uh, Corsier Port. So I have been always in boating, sailing, uh, sailing race, and all my life and all in boats, and uh, I was always disturbed by the noise of the generator. Mm -hmm. Now in a sailing boat, you have to run the engine because you need to make cold and to charge the battery. And that was very frustrating. And um, several years ago, uh, I started to be interested into the solar technology. And uh, I could see that it was moving, but s seven years ago, I said, now we are, in a, we are advanced enough. Right. And I want to be able to find out the way to charge my battery without having a generator making noise vibration or having to cruise by engine on my setting board uh, just to charge the battery. Right. I, I noticed that, that that is an issue, especially if you're doing a long passage on a sailboat, is that I mean you have to run the engine a couple hours a day or a generator, because even if you have solar, you don't have enough to maintain your autopilot and all your refrigeration and everything. Yeah. So this boat here, uh, now it is equipped with a generator, but you pretty much never run it. <laughs> In fact, we have to run the generator once a month to make sure that the generator runs. Right, right. That's it. No, but the boat has no shoreline, 
Uh, we have a generator in case of, um, but we are fully, fully, fully uh, charged by the sun. And so you have eight kilowatts of solar, which I mean, that's most people's, I mean, you have a home solar system for your house, most people don't have eight kilowatts on their, on their house. And so what was the toughest part of integrating that? Is it, is it finding the room for the cells or the advancement or is it the batteries or, or what was the toughest part? The toughest part was uh, the toughest part was how can we maximize the solar energy on a limited space? Mm -hmm. Because up to now, uh, we were putting solar panels on the house, and basically the roof was much bigger than what the, the amount of solar panels. Right. And, and that was fine. Uh, but on a boat, we have a roof. The roof is limited. And how can we do that we can maximize. And the big rule of thumb we had in Europe was, well, uh, 25 square meters of uh, solar panel will give you basically four, four and a half kilo. Okay, that's a lot and, of space though. And it's, gosh, it's a lot of space for not a big output. And when we were looking a little bit about other people, what they were trying to do in the research board, uh, we thought, gosh, by square meter, that's, that's not good. How can we improve? So it's where I hired a team, we, we worked, and we worked for two years before finding the way. Is it, uh, is, it the, is it the efficiency of, I mean, not only the solar panels, but I guess storing the energy and all that? I mean, what's the, what, was the, what was the big leap there that you've done that most people haven't? So there is two things. The solar panel is already for something very important. Mm -hmm. So top solar panel produce top power. That's no cheap one, you go nowhere. Okay. That's the only thing. Then you have two issues. One, it is to transport this power into the battery. Right. And it's where many people go wrong. And it's one of our trade secrets. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I cannot be too specific. Okay. Uh, that has been the big issue. That has been the big issue. And then it is to store it. Mm -hmm. So on Heliotrop 65, it's the last boat which we did with gel battery. Okay. Then today, a lithium iron battery, a good quality lithium iron battery has no problem of safety right. if the boat take water. Okay. Okay. But so there is the, our problem here, if I can say the problem, uh, it's, it's a storage. We have two ton, four thousand pound of battery, lithium yeah. uh, of uh, gel battery. We are storing it, but basically, uh, by a normal day, at one o'clock the afternoon, my battery are full, uh -huh. and I still have three or four hours where awesome. I could take capacity. So, with the lithium ion battery today, we can do even much more. So, with the lithium ion, are you going to? I mean, okay, because the, the gels take up more space and more weight. So with the lithium ion, are you going to add more capacity or will you just save the weight? <laughs> or both? That is dependent on the owner. Okay. It, I think both. I think both. Um, first of all, um, we, will, we will basically save weight. Mm -hmm. Because today, with our jet battery, we are running the dishwasher, the laundry machine, the coffee machine, uh, air condition. Mm -hmm. So it's not um, so fine. So if I could, if I could save fifty percent of weight because lithium is it's basically roll of some, it's fifty percent. Okay, and, and so I, I know a lot of especially sailboats because we have mass and lines and booms and all that up there, uh, and then generally so we put solar panels on the bimini top or on somewhere, and shading can be a big issue. And so have you all found a way to? I mean, because I've, I've seen it where you put you cover one cell on a solar panel. And then that whole panel is basically worthless at that point. I exactly. Mean, is, that, have you, is that something that you've been able of to course. kind of... Okay. Of course. Okay. That is another trade secret. <laughs> uh, sorry to say that because when we wanted to go into solar uh, business, we really looked and to look and, and, and we discovered that for selling for boats, yachting, nothing was done. Mm -hmm. And basically when we ask people to, tr to start to work with us, uh, nobody wanted to work because uh, everybody said it was impossible. So right. we had to develop and we have to go through a lot of research. So today, nothing has been patterned. Okay. Nothing, I'm very <laughs> specific on that. 
because I want the world to go into solar. Okay. But please go find yourself, and maybe you will find another way. Because what we thought, what we found, that everybody was thinking the same way in a way solar panel, and how we discovered it was to have to do the same thing, but much more efficiency, but on a way that nobody did it before. You know, I was watching an interview with Bill Gates the other day, and he was talking about solar and all that. He's not investing, he's investing a lot of money in solar and, and alternative energy, but he's not investing in one general way because somebody creates something unique that because they create it because they go off the regular path. And so that's what we need is to go off the regular path. Yeah, exactly. And it's what it's a, it's a, it's a breakthrough we did. Mm -hmm. And I like to say, and I said again, that my two engineer who has been working the most on that uh -huh. uh, was not drinking right. Pepsi or Coca-Cola right, right, right. and they were not smoking regular <laughs> tobacco. Okay? They were being and a little more creative. They were very creative and some of them, if they had to pass a security gate, it would be <laughs> ringing from everywhere due to Pepsi. So yeah. when you look at them, it's everything my education asked me to to be aware, but uh, no, they did a great job, they found differently, and, and that it is what's happened. So the storage is very important, but the transport between the solar panel to the storage, it's, it's what people That's the key. Yeah, that's okay. right. Yeah, that's okay. right. But yeah, I, I would think so, is, is the efficiency in that. So so what do you think, okay, so a boat like this, I mean, is, you, you, you've made one that's totally self-sufficient as far as running systems and everything on solar. Uh, when do you think, I mean, I know it's probably a long way, when do we get to the point where we can either store enough or the cells will be efficient enough to actually motor a boat like this on solar? It's it's a question of battery. Yeah. It's battery. It's a, the only thing, it's a question of battery. To get the sun, the sun gives us everything. Mm -hmm. That's no problem. Mind you, this solar panel, mm -hmm. which are US made, uh, by full moon, clear sky, full moon, charge. Really? Yes. Really? False. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to tell you, Top quality, mm -hmm. and your country is doing the are doing the best. Top quality, well done, well set up, well everything can produce even by. So what, what do you think about uh, you know I think I think uh, Tesla has announced it. They they've got um, you know these solar roofs. Basically, the roofing material is a solar panel. I mean, do you envision is that something? Is that, are those efficient enough? Do you would basically paint your boat with that? I mean. All that that exists, what Tesla is talking about, it exists already since four years. I have seen them in the in Switzerland in the uh, Solar Energy Research Center of uh, Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne. I have seen them. Um, so uh, yes, it will come. Or, or today we can do a lot. Uh, the problem is the conversion. How much? What is the, the percentage of conversion? Mm -hmm. And when? And too often. These gimmick, I don't say the tiling is gimmick, but what we hear, we hear about clothes, which can take solar, we hear about painting. The, the conversion rate is very, very low, right. still, okay? Uh, the tiling uh, that Tesla is talking about exists. It works, I have seen it, it works. There's no problem, it's great, and it's, it's fantastic. The, the, the things that we are having, it's a storage, so Tesla, and I would like to say that it is now four years I'm trying to meet its owner <laughs> to shake his hand and to say, guys, everybody said you were crazy. Everybody said I was crazy. Right, right. You did it. We did it. Right. So, but be difficult to shake his hand. Power battery, lithium iron battery had a slowdown in the world, which upset uh, this gentleman from Tesla, I understand, because uh, there were some lobbying which was making that, why should we spend more money investing in battery, it works, the telephone works, because we said the petrol, the lobby of the oil was slowing down the things. Now, you saw France, you saw other country in Europe, they said by 2030, right. no more f fossil car in the country. Really? Yeah. I knew they were wanted like 80, they want 50%, but they want no, no. no more cars. No more cars. And now four countries in Europe have said 2030, it's finished. Okay. Okay. So that's going to come very quickly. So there is a huge need to develop the battery. Okay. So um, a, a lot has been done for the Tesla. 
But yet, now, it will go much, much further. Mm -hmm. I would like about Tesla car, I would like just like to remind, it made me smile this car, because the idea of the engine in the wheel, where does it come from? It's come from the Lunar Jeep. Oh yeah? So, uh, technology which has been done to, to drive on the moon, mm -hmm. at a time where many people were still not yet born, yeah. uh, now it's been used for what it is. Well, it, it, it's amazing to go back and think, I mean, one of the first what we would call cars was powered by electricity. Yes. I mean, it, it predated the Model T. Yes. But the problem is they didn't have enough storage and the battery. That's it. That's and that's it. always been the problem. It's been always a storage, not making it, but the storage. Because an electric motor is much more efficient than any kind of hydrocar. Absolutely. We said that 30% of one liter of fuel has been used to propulse the car, when in electricity it's 50% of the power is used. And electrical engine, it's direct power. And, and the electrical engine has nothing new. Um, cargo ship has been running a lot on electrical. Submarines are running on electrical. Yeah. Hey, guys, we don't know. All right. Well, I mean, uh, you know, trains. I mean, uh, you yeah. know, it's, uh, you know. Uh, so it's nothing new. Just we have to make it smaller, more compact, which is now. So now we make it smaller, more compact, lighter, and very powerful. Yachts like this. You, is, the, is the competition pretty far behind or I mean are they trying to catch up or they are they are uh, they don't want to put the resource ah. of uh, they are a bit but it's you know what what's happened it's the market which you into that it's a cl client it's the customer um, in your country 10 years ago client was requesting us powerful engine mm -hmm. everybody wanted to have powerful engine mm -hmm. today you know large part of America, people are starting to say, oh, you do solar, mm -hmm. and, and so they are looking into the propulsion, solar, electric, so we are having the problem to explain that to a four boat, to do 12 knots with solar, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, it is. Yeah. With an electrical engine, it's not, but you need a generator. Right, yeah. So, so why are you building these boats here in Thailand as opposed to Europe or the States? Yeah, Thailand has a great, the craftsmanship in Thailand is fantastic. And Thailand is, to my knowledge, the only country in the world to have dedicated three universities, oh, really? professional universities, for marine industry. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, because His Majesty the late King was a keen sailor, to honor his passion, they created school where people are taught to build boats. And for three years, they learn about fiberglass, painting, naval electricity, naval welding. So these people who follow this, this school, they are passionate by boating, mm -hmm. because otherwise they will go into real estate. Sure. We don't use the same component on a yacht than on a real estate. So we are having people, we don't need to teach them how important to make an electrical connection. Right. They know right. salt water and electricity <laughs> it's very, very don't match very well. So we have passionate uh, worker, which means that the level of level of skill is very very high, mm -hmm. and uh, which we have nowhere else. And okay, when you are interested into solar things, um, it's a good place. Yet about solar, many people misunderstood the solar. For a good solar panel to work efficiently, it needs to be cold. Right. So it's a little bit, yeah. in a hot country, you have a lot of sun, yet if it's not well done, the solar panel heat, overheat, and you lose power. Right. So that is another way how we have installed the solar panel. That's for sure. And, and I guess, you know, Thailand, I mean, I, the king himself built a couple boats. Yeah, you know, and yeah, yeah. and he really built them. Uh -huh. All right, hey, Philippe, thank you so much for having me on your boat. It's a lovely boat, and uh, I'll link uh, to your website in the video. Uh, so in the show notes, guys, uh, you can just look below. There'll be a link to his website there on the Heliotrope Yachts and your shipbuilding company here in Thailand. Thank you very much for visiting Bakikono. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. It really helps if you click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to buy us a beer, check out sailingdoodles.com to find out how you can help us continue to make these videos.